hello guys welcome back to the another video so today i'm going to the world trade center which is located in financial district of lower manhattan in new york city i'm going to by train which is the best way to reach there and if you take the car so there is no parking available so uh, i recommend the train is the best way if you take the e-train there this that is the last stop from world trade center so you can find and you can go easily so just leave one train and another train is coming it's like a six minutes so i'll wait here so i can again to schedule they have it yeah Train for one hour. That's the map. I have to take a full New York City map. Full New York City uh, train. Full New York City underground train to train. Let's so a trainer a J land guru is put the cable uh, from start to end I'm gonna pull trainer map play there you see and here this is the help point you can call emergency if you need anything so you can go from there for help So guys, uh, let's talk about uh, World Trade Center. Uh, the original World Trade Center was a large complex of seven buildings in the financial district of Lower Manhattan in New York State. And it uh, opened on April 4, 1973 and was destroyed in 2001 during the September 11 attacks. The original World Trade Center was 1,368 feet, which was the North Tower. And the World Trade Center 2 was uh, South Tower. It was uh, 1,362 feet were the tallest building in the world. Other buildings in the complex included the Merrick World Trade Center, World Trade Center, World Trade Center 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The complex contains 13,400,000 square feet, and which is the uh, office space. First construction of the World Trade Center was uh, begin in August 1968 and the South Tower in 1969. The core complex was built between 1962 and 1975 and the cost was 400 million which is equivalent uh, to 2.27 billion in 2021 the new freedom tower construction started april 27 2006 and it's um, completed in 2014 and the cost is uh, 4 million the freedom tower is sixth tallest building in the world it's the equivalent 104 standard floors high 
the building total height including the spire is 1776 feet
is done when you went memorial museum this is open monday to thursday and uh, you have to take the ticket and it's closed like four o'clock This is the name of respectful people who die in many given attack. Every year hundreds of thousands of people visit the one World Trade Center Observatory for that once in a lifetime view on New York City. From the top of the one World Trade Center, guests can marvel at 360 degree views of Manhattan, the East River, the Brooklyn Bridge and New York Harbor, all while staying indoors. The visitor enters to the amazing fast skyboard elevator that takes up one or two stores in the just for seven seconds. Everything about the visit is high tech and built to impress. It's full audiovisual experience that sets the stage for the incredible final riddle, an uncovered view of New York City.
This is the Oculus, a transportation hub and shopping mall inside one of New York's most unique buildings. It's an easy stop on your way in the World Trade Center. Before you make your journey to the observatory, you should grab a bite to eat, check out the retail outlets, or simply explore the incredible architecture. The Oculus was designed by Spanish architect Santiago Calatreva. He intended it to resemble a drug living child's hands. You can see it in the tall cross single columns that make up the exterior. Together, this series of columns forms a pair of 350 feet wings. Why is the Oculus named the Oculus? The name comes from the strip of windows or skylights. Along the spine of the roof, Oculus is the Latin word for eye, which in architecture refers to a round for eye like opening with a view of the sky. Take a look up through the windows, you will see Freedom Tower.